Happily, welcome back to Craig Tech New Horizons, episode 83, with me, Sid. And uh, in the last episode, we went out and we did... done some playing with this good old thing here, um, which was great, and, and really did an interesting job. Uh, I would like to... I've got a question about, have I got any bigger chests or chest up? Raids. I honestly cannot remember if I have. Um, obviously, I haven't got them there. I've got some frogs. Yeah, but they're not going to help. So it was. It was good. It was. Well, it was kind of slowish in some respect. Oh, diamond chest. Hello. That will do the trick, won't it? Boop. And boop. Right, and that opened up uh, in the quest line. We just—I'm going to make the supreme pizza today. We're, we're steadily knocking this one back, but um, yeah, that opened up in the LV quest line. This, no, nope. <laughs> this. Analyzing the soil. So tired of looking for oils by hand, want to find an underground oil that will last a long time. A seismic prospect will tell the oils in the surrounding chunks in a sort of handy book you can read. Uh, and you have a data drive, you have the, you know, and it basically does, it's a seismic prospect, it goes boom. Uh, it, uh, I don't believe it doesn't need to be powered, even though it's listed as being LV. Um, and I want to make that because that looks pretty cool. There's also other things that we have on our list of things to make. I have processed up an awful lot of the redstone ore that I got. I've got two stacks left, but I've got nearly 54 stacks of redstone there, so not um, not in a desperate hurry to process any of that any further. And. If we come down here, you can see that I'm almost finished draining this, which is uh, interesting. Not very interesting, but interesting nonetheless. Because it does mean that we'll have all of this space. We've got all that space down there as well. I need to decide what I'm going to do with all of this. It's, at the moment, it's just a void, but, you know, it's there. Now, the reason the Seismic Prospector is so useful is if I go to the... I get that. No, um, maybe if I go underground, maybe that will that will get me what I want, won't it? I go down here and then then go journey map. I should be able to get the caves. Need to go down a bit further to get the uh, the correct Y level. Uh, right. So we're down here. Uh, and if I head off this way, you can see that, can I, you used to be able to get a different wire level on this one, I don't know, anyway, not a major issue, we've got basically these tunnels running out through here, and, and that's an ore chunk, and that's an ore chunk, and that one's an ore chunk, I don't know what it is, because the ore is not at the level that I wanted. Similarly, that's an ore chunk, that will be an ore chunk, that's an ore chunk, that's an ore chunk, that's an ore chunk, that's an ore chunk. I think you're getting the idea here, isn't it? And if I was to run a passageway, this is going out to the um, to the mob farm, which I haven't really used much. But I want to be able to find out what's in these ore chunks without having to do this tedious mining that I, I have to do. And there is also no, uh, a quest for... So my, where are you? You are not hard item. Cool. I've, I could probably get that uh, shortly. I will have to go and run the uh, thing in, in the nether again. But that's not what I'm after. That is... There. No, quartzite, that's still a lot. <laughs> we'll get there eventually. Somewhere about in one of these, mica. I need to get mica or... It's 
In the overworld, you have no luck finding it with the prospector once you get to them. And that's the beastie. Uh, it's in order to craft coils for the electric blast, only for the uh, thing. So we need mica basically for the, the good stuff. So yeah, it's just you know I can actually find out what hopefully what's in the chunk before I chuck the um, the basic drill beastie down, and also that will give me an idea of how deep it should be as well because I'll know from the uh, thing. Anyways, let us start off over there. And there is the advanced seismic prospector. I've pulled it all together. There's nothing fancy. I did make a few more circuits uh, and I've made three uh, of these. So I actually do need to edit this because I know this needs to brew. All right, there you go. Two of those and we can knock that one off of the quest list there's our sifter and that's off that list keeps getting smaller I'm still yeah miles off doing half of these things anyway I'm going to put the these two items the sifter because we've got the basic extruder has been taken out um, and I think yeah we can run that through and get the materials back so I probably will do because I don't think I need the basic extruder the basic forge hammer, um, I don't know whether it's this stuff that this can do, that the forge hammer, that the other ones can't, but um, in terms of things, it actually runs on ultra low voltage by the looks of it for a lot of this. And it's half a second per operation as opposed to the high pressure which does any fast is it for users steam and it still does half a second so is there any any benefit to the electric I don't know that has to be has to be said although I'm assuming that um, if I were to go and have a look at the basic forge hammer Is there anything that actually is not doable? Yeah, you can forge hammer a lot of this stuff down. Oh, okay, it's interesting. Right, anyway, that's not the thing. What we want to do is we want to play with this. And let's go to our completed quests. So we can grab you. You're just a simple reward. We can grab the sifter I will take. I'm going to take a... Uh, I've got diamonds, I don't have emeralds. I'm going to go there. And finally, we can... We can come to here. And we get all of these items. So that's all good. We've got the powder barrels. We've got data sticks. And we've got some stuff. To go with that now if I go and have a look no wrong button at the next quest basic printer when you use the seismic printer you'll need this you'll need a scanner and a printer to create the books full of tasty ores and delicious fluids use ink sacks in a fluid extractor to get squid ink then move it using pipes or cells I need a printer which means I need an LV machine all right I've got all of that Let's go and uh, let's go and throw that because we are going to need that uh, to utilize the stuff. So, no, I only want eight. Silly. Um, fortunately, this is a really quick, really quick job. Uh, just whack that. I think it's on one. You go through one, isn't it? Yeah. So I, right. I didn't want to make the wrong thing there. So we'll grab you. We grab Mr. Wrench. Uh, put Mr. Wrench in there. You can do that. Oh, we need to. Uh, 
What do I need? Three motors, two circuits and three wires. One, two, three. And uh, one, two, three, five. So that. Ah, that should be that. That goes in with two of those. Got three motors, two circuits, three wires, was that it? It was. Basic printer. Lovely. So we'll take this ink sacks from the back. Uh, and that's the end of that. Now what I do need is I need to power that. Hmm. Again, I look at some of these and go, I can't remember the last time I used some of these, but um, I mean, we can take you off, I suppose, the alloy smelter for now. I really do need to, uh, I still haven't worked out exactly what I want to do in here. Um, hence why I'm kind of dithering about this, this entire process. So, you put, we need ink, which goes in a fluid extractor, I presume. Yep, squid ink. We'll grab, what shall we grab? Grab a, eight, a big one, a big old eight. Do, 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 do. So I presume we put paper in there. Recipes, empty map, map, okay. Book, book. Printed pages used to make written books. Printer manual by <laughs> We can print and then we use those with some glue and artificial le oh, or leather and we get the written book. Alright, yeah, we can we can do all of that. Eventually. You know, sometime in the next decade or so. See, I'm not entirely sure what I'm just thinking. I'm kind of thinking out loud here. Oh, I'm going to do more damage. Right. I am not entirely sure how all of this is going to work. So, what we're going to need is. I should have paper. Yep, yeah. it's a recipe for paper. I can never remember how you make that. So obviously it's Greg Tech, so it's different. Uh, and there's got to be a proper way of doing it. We can do Chad to paper. Or cellulose pulp. You know what? I am sure there are many ways. Unpackager. Blah blah blah. Centrifuging carpenter wood water makes paper. So we could do it that way. Yep. Yeah. Or that way. Why do you make chat? I can't remember. By shredding paper by the looks of it. Okay. So you shred a book to, to get three pages back. You can grind paper, okay, or you can grind sugar cane. Well, I'm sure there's lots of different ways of doing it, but we'll uh, we'll, we'll work with what we got so far, which is basically we've already got some, so we don't need to worry. Right, those can go away. That I'm going to put that up there for now because we will get around to sifting that one. So what we need to do is we need to go. 
on a little walk. So let's go down here. And let us see what we can see. I'll, I'll go with existing tunnels just because it'll make life easier. Um, I feel like a mole sometimes when I'm doing all this lot. So we know we know that this chunk we're coming up to is an ore chunk and we know that this is appetite and yeah because it's there look um, but when you come up to this junction here and this is the center of the chunk if I put the thing down so we go and put you in there we leave it a few seconds what do I do I was expecting it to go boom. <laughs> Maybe it will go boom eventually. Give it a second. I'll be back in a moment. Alright, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, let's so what do I do? Do I just right click? Raw prospecting data, yes, okay. And then I presumably pick you up like that. And we're good. Let's go and see what we've got then. Do, 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 do. I mean, I could go and, you know, run some more tunnels and run the prospector a bit more, but let's just do the one now, just see how it goes, and then I can, I can then I can reset and presumably that will empty the uh, the drive and all good stuff. Well, hopefully all the good stuff. And then we it just should be a lot easier. In theory, I presume I can also do it in the nether, so that will be handy because I can then work out which which nether areas to mine with the miner. Which, you know, is always a bonus. Because I won't end up... I mean, I, I think I'm, I'm good for redstone for a while now, although I'm going to make a whole load more redstone alloy before I uh, rewire, because this got, there's some work to be done there. Uh, right, what do I need? I need paper, and now I'm going to need some leather. We'll just take a small sample of it. And I put paper in there raw data in there uh do i need to oh okay it needs to be scanned right so that would be where did i put the the basic scanner there we go and we'll, then we'll get. I've got to admit, this is this is quite a fun little mechanism. Um, certainly interesting. And again, trying to mirror, I suppose, real world things where we use seismic sets the charges and stuff to detect now. I'm not entirely, I'm, I'm no geologist, so I don't exactly know how all this stuff works, but presumably you go boom, it records the data, you get the data, you bring it back, you put it into your thing to make sense of the data. And maybe you don't need to do this, but you know, and then you, you print it out. So this is, would be the equivalent of us sticking the data into our PC and then getting a hard copy. Analyzed data. Oh. 
Um, we're off. So uh, we just used three pages, which is cool. To, oh, I think you only just you make sure you just put a, exactly what you need in, don't you? Otherwise, you get two copies. There you go. I think I think that's what's happened here. So presumably that will turn it back into an empty, and then I'm going to need glue. So I'm going to need my uh, I'm going to need that. Boom, and so we use you in an assembler, no program. Some glue, that, and that gives us a written book, and that. Uh, The results are synchronized to your map, are they? Oh, did it? Hang on. I did that one, and it's actually, wow, that's, oh, there's oil sands there, there's magnetite, mineral sands, lapis, iron, kaolinite, Alright, so I can go down to here and I can get that one, but I could go to there and I can... Wow, that's actually really good. I need to do some prospecting now, because I need some mica. <laughs> um, okay, I'll be back in a moment. Alright, I've, uh, I've done three, battery four things. I've done three in the overworld and I've done one in the nether. So I wanted to see how it works. So let's head back and scan the data. And I need a little bit more leather. And we so I had I've got two, so I need two more. Two. Lovely. And then let us go. And let's start off with some data scanage. It's going to take a while, so let me get these. I'm going to get the the all scanned up um, and run the reports, and then uh, for the overworlds, and then we'll do the um, well, do them all. Uh, yeah, back in the move. All right, last. Oh, uh, well, we need the glue, so that's fine. I was making torches for my uh, thingy. We'll come back to that. So the uses for those were no program setting. Okay, so we stick that in. Um, one of those. So these two are the overworld. Well, these three. Of the overworld. And the uh, last one is the nether. That's dimension zero. This is dimension minus one. I love the fact that the nether is, is down. <laughs> it's negative rather than positive. Uh, that's the other one we've done I think let me just uh, whack those in and make it get another batch of torches going so if we look at this this is location is synchronized we got gold mineral sand diamond salts mineral sand iron and coal uh, we also got heavy oil load of oil Fluid notes, there's an awful lot of things. Prospector in 8x8. 
field. Okay, well that's that's that one. I'm going to look at the map now. It didn't actually get as much as I thought it would. Uh, so there should have been. I ran it there. I only got those four. Interesting. Okay, maybe maybe it's not as. I think it doesn't really matter. Fluids nine, locations blah blah blah. We got salts, gold, copper, diamond, pink salts, and oil sands again. So let me just put that in and have a look at the the map. So that hmm. I should have picked up there, unless... I don't know what's going on there. There should be something in those. Cassiterite, salts, gold. That's that lot. So we, we didn't get this, this bit here. The, there should be some there and there, which is interesting. None of this, however, is mica, <laughs> which is annoying. Um, okay. Well, that's all of those. Uh, is there any... If I put you through a macerator, I get Chad. Or ashes. Probably better macerated, isn't it? Haven't I got? Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah, that. That needs fixing. Right, and then the nether. Zero fluids, yeah, that's fine. Iron, redstone, sulfur, tetrahedrite, sulfur, tetrahedrite, and nether quartz. Nether quartz and redstone. Ah, well, that was interesting. I think it will make a massive, massive difference to, um, to the way we prospect obviously because we're just going to go in and dump that these are relatively inexpensive i'll take that and then we can we can obviously now if i go to the journey map say i want gold i run over there that's magnetite gold and vanadium magnetite so yeah i want oil sands we run over there we wipe down the thing oil sands if i were to look at gold ore And look at the. Uh, you should have. Uh, why are you not giving me? There we go. Vein stats. It occurs between 15 and 40. So as long as I'm above 40 and whack down the um, the hoofer, it it will spit out gold. Uh, and this one was magnet. That one was, uh, I think, it's this one, the magnetite, vanadium magnetite, sporadic gold. So yeah, it's definitely better than going around having to dig massive great holes all the time. We can just dig a tunnel, can't expand our tunnel network, and and off we go. But. Um, I think that will do us for this episode. I'm going to continue working on some of these bits and I think there should be seven machines there. And I don't know, there's nothing. I mean, obviously I'm going to run the thing and get, I think my tin is getting a bit low, so I probably need to go and do the cassiterite. Um, I really am struggling to understand why we didn't pick up that area really I'm struggling on that one don't know why but anyway doesn't matter 
because we can we can go out uh, I just still need to find this mica there's other things I need to find the quartzite and stuff so yeah I think that will do us until next time thank you very much for watching guys I will see you soon bye for now